Online food personality Darius Williams may have violated multiple short-term rental rules plus a city ordinance when he hosted a paid event last month in Atlanta. Because of previous problems, Airbnb tells the Fox 5i team Williams is already prohibited from using their properties to hold his Dining with Darius events. Uh, Fox 5i team reporter Randy Travis returns with more on what he uncovered. Randy? Russ and Courtney, when we last talked about Williams, otherwise known as Darius Cooks, his company had a failing record with the Better Business Bureau. And he used a puzzling strategy of posting private information of those who criticized him or asked for a refund. Well, now there's this. On top, we have fried chicken croutons. That's Darius Williams in this video posted by a fan on YouTube, shot last month in a house in Collier Hills. So a little smoked ribeye for you. Williams charges $215 per person for his Dining with Darius events, soon to be $289 next year. He pushes the events on his social media pages, some that claim more than a million followers. But house rules on the short-term rental site Verbo say no events are supposed to be held at this Atlanta home, and the maximum number of guests is eight. There's a lot more than eight in this video. Williams booked this house for six nights. So he had all these tables set up in there. Oh, wow. Toby Jackson manages the house for the owner who works out of state. I come before the guests and after the guests. But you don't expect 30 guests in this house? <laughs> no, I, I, no, sir, not at all. An Atlanta city ordinance also required Williams get a special event permit if alcohol was being sold. That YouTube video shows everyone enjoying a red drink and the person who recorded it laughing on the way home that the red drank sangria is kicking in now. We have blurred her face. We tried talking to Williams at that same house a few hours before his paying guests arrived. For someone who goes live on Instagram multiple times a day, he wasn't in a talking mood. Come on, I thought you liked being on television. Where are you going? Contacted later, Williams denied violating any verbo rules, but would not provide us proof he told the owners what he was planning to do at his home. He also would not directly answer whether he served alcohol. The owner has since listed the house for sale. It's clear Williams has used the accounts of other people to book the locations. Like my first week working for him, he was like, oh, I'm having trouble getting into my Airbnb. I don't know what's going on. A former worker made this TikTok and later sent us proof that she agreed to use her own Airbnb account for Williams dining events in 2016. Imagine my surprise when less than a week later, I get an email saying, hey, you owe every Airbnb $10,000 because you trashed this person's house. She told the homeowner Williams was responsible and wound up not having to pay the damages. A spokesperson told the Fox 5i team Williams is prohibited from using Airbnb. If you're a business owner who f***s up your reputation on Airbnb, you don't have another driver's license. You've got to find another sucker to use their account that's in good standing to continue your business. In February, a Dallas, Texas Verbo owner called police to remove Williams when she says she realized what he was doing with her home. She said Darius had blown the electrical system by hosting a commercial kitchen dinner without her permission. Uh, the homeowner wants us out of the home, um, and we don't know why. <laughs> Williams made sure to go live on Instagram to accuse the homeowner of being the real bad guy. That outlet also doesn't work. He canceled the rest of the Dallas events, his customers reaching out when they did not get promised refunds. No response from you at all, and no refund for the two tickets I purchased. I am out $430 and a plane ticket. How long will it take to get my refund from the Dallas event? He blocked me immediately without responding. Most legitimate businesses will quickly respond to a customer who complains that they didn't get what they paid for. But Darius Williams routinely ignores complaints to the Better Business Bureau, often blocks people who try to reach him through his social media sites, and then employs a tactic that no legitimate business would dare consider. It's called doxing, maliciously posting someone's private information. When Danielle Holland anonymously criticized Williams for how he treats his customers, he responded by tweeting pictures of her children. I see the caption that he put, which was tell Danielle Holland, we, said, we say hello. Williams also made public the cell number for the owner of that Dallas house who called police when she realized what he was really doing. He urged his followers to call or text her. 
<laughs> he later posted this Instagram video, bragging that the response was so great, police asked him to remove the phone number from his page. That was, baby, when I tell you, y'all lit that phone up. Well, according to his schedule, Williams is actually in Savannah this coming weekend for another Dining with Darius paid event. He's going to be serving alcohol. Let's hope he gets the right permits. And let's also hope that he's told the homeowner exactly what he's going to be doing with their property. Oh, yeah. I mean, you mentioned that Airbnb has already taken action. Has Verbo weighed in on this? No, apparently he's still allowed to book through Verbo. Uh, but that Texas homeowner, the one who called police to have him kicked out of her house, she said she tried to get Verbo to ban him, but they said just post a, a bad review about him. So she did. And she posted this. He is the worst guest by far I have ever had. Wow. Well, no one wants to have their phone lit up for making a legitimate complaint. Yes, yeah, it doesn't sound like that's a proper way to run a business, does it? No. No. All right. Randy, thanks. Thanks, Randy. New details. In the dead